Javakheti, Georgian, Javakheti Divi Kai Ti, Armenian, Javak Javak is a historical province in southern Georgia, corresponding to the modern Akhalkalaki and Ninisvinda municipalities. Historically, Javakheti borders in the west to the Kura River MTK Vari, and in the north, south and east with the Shavsheti, Samsari and Nealaskori Mountains. Principal economic activities in this region are subsistence agriculture, particularly potatoes, and raising livestock. In 1995, the Akhalkalaki and Ninisminda districts, comprising the historical territory of Javakheti, was merged with the neighboring land of Samsk to form a new administrative region, Samsk Javakheti. Armenians comprise the majority of Javakheti's population. According to the 2014 Georgian census, of the 41,870 inhabitants in Akhalkalaki municipality 93% and Ninisminda municipality 23,262 95% were Armenians. Etymology <inaudible> 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 In terminology, the name Javakheti is taken from Javak core with traditional Georgian eti suffix. Commonly, Javakheti means the home of Javaks, an ethnic subgroup of Georgians, as for example, the word Ossetia is taken from Georgian osi plus eti. The k suffix in Armenian has an identical meaning. The earliest mention of the name was found in Urartu sources, in the notes of King Argishti I of Urartu, 785 BC, as Zabaha. History Antiquity In the sources, the region was recorded as Zabaka in 785 BC, by the king Argishti I of Urartu. According to Cyril Tumanov, Javakheti, together with Arisheti, was part of the Iberian Duchy of Sunda from the 4th or 3rd century BC. While its eastern counterpart was at times conquered by the Artaxiads and Arsacids of Armenia as part of Gugurk province, Arisheti, West Javakheti firmly remained within the Iberian realm. Saint Nino entered Iberia from Javakheti, one of the southern provinces of Iberia, and, following the course of the river Kura, she arrived in Mts Keta, the capital of the kingdom. Once there, she eventually began to preach Christianity, which culminated by Christianization of Iberia. One of the earliest Armenian sources, Faustus of Byzantium the 5th century writes, Mascot King Sanison, extremely angry, was filled with hate for his tribesmen, Armenian King Khosrau, and gathered all of his troops. Huns, Pokes, Tavispars, Kekmataks, Ismaks, Gats, Gluers, Gugurs, Shibs, Chilbs, Balasich, and Egersvans, as well as an uncountable number of other diverse nomadic tribes, all the numerous troops he commanded. He crossed his border, the great river Kura, and invaded the Armenian country. In the 5th century during the rule of Vakhtang I of Iberia Javakheti was a province of Iberia and after his death his second wife the Byzantine princess settled in Sunda part of Javakheti. <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages In struggle against the Arab occupation, Bagrationi dynasty came to rule over Dauklarjeti and established the Kora Palatate of Iberia. Rulers of Dauklarjeti fought the Arabs from there, gradually incorporating the surrounding lands of Samsk and Javakheti, along with a few other lesser lands, from the Arab dominance. For a long time the region became a cultural safe house and one of the most important religious centers of Georgia. Armenian scientist of the 10th century Uktanes talks about the family tree of Kyrian, the Catholicos of Georgia. The literal translation of this text is as follows, Kyrian came from the Georgians in terms of country and lineage, from the region of the Javaks. There can be no doubt that Uktanes believed Javakheti to be part of Georgia Iberia, and the Javaks to be Georgians. Z. Alexidze examines the viewpoint of this historian and the enlightened Armenian society of the 10th century on the problem that interests us in depth. In the mid-10th century, Javakheti was incorporated into Kingdom of Abkhazia. In 964, Leon III of Abkhazia extended his influence to Javakheti. During his reign, was built Kumerdo Cathedral. In subsequent centuries, Javakheti was staying in hands of unified Georgian monarchy and had a period of significant development. A lot of bridges, churches, monasteries, and royal residences El Givi, Gertila, Bozano, Vardzia, were built. 
From the 11th century, the center of Upper Javakheti became Akalkalaki. From the 10th century, the center of Lowland Javakheti was T. Mogva. From the 12th century, the domain was ruled by representatives of the feudal family of Toreli. From the 13th century, the administrative borders of the region combined in addition Palakatsyo modern Turkey and part of Samsk. In the 15th century, Javakheti was part of the Principality of Samsk Sadabago. In the 16th century, the region, as well as the adjacent territories of western Georgia, was occupied by the Ottoman Empire. The Georgian population of Javakheti was displaced to inner regions of Georgia such as Imereti and Kartli. Those who remained gradually became Muslim. <inaudible> <inaudible> Russian Empire In the first third of the 19th century, following the Russo-Persian War 1804 and the Russo-Persian War of 1826–1828, Russia conquered the Southern Caucasus, and the whole of Georgia, along with the rest of the Caucasus, was incorporated within the Russian Empire. At that time Javakheti was inhabited by Georgian Muslims and after Russian conquest they mostly migrated to the Ottoman Empire. After Russian encouragement the area was resettled by Christian Ottoman Armenians. In 1828, because of luck, the Russian army in battle with the Turks made the decision real to move people to Samsk Javakheti. Trialeti and Javakheti was filled with Christian Armenians and Caucasus Greeks. In the early 20th century, a large number of Armenian refugees from the Armenian Genocide in the Ottoman Empire, and Dukabor sect members of Russian Empire, settled the region. On December 3, 1829, General Ivan Paskovich created a special committee for relocation with chairmanship of Governor Peter Zavelsky Russian P.D. Zavelsky The committee was created for the Act for Relocation. According to preliminary calculations, the committee planned to displace 8,000 families from Kars, Erzurum and Dagubayazit, but after a short time, the number was increased to 14,000. The political target of the Russian Empire was to get ethnical colors in Georgia, while the king-loving Georgian people were not very happy with Russian rule. Because of this, some people refused to move Meskhetians from Imereti back to their homes in freed places of Javakheti and other southern regions. After an offensive on Akhaltik, the sons of Meskhetian families of the 16th-17th centuries Sisishvili, Avalishvili, Muskhelishvili and others got to Ivan Paskovich and requested the return of legitimate lands on according to conservated Sigelis issued by Georgian kings. Paskovich refused their request with some regrets. <laughs> <laughs> Soviet era Georgia came fully under Soviet control in 1921, and Javakheti, along with other former Georgian territories, became part of the Georgian SSR. The remaining Muslim minority in Javakheti, also known as Meskhetian Turks, were deported to Uzbekistan in 1944 during the regime of Stalin. Topic: <laughs> Republic of Georgia. Currently Armenians form the ethnic majority in the region. Since independence many Dukabor have left for Russia. <laughs> Current situation An expected improvement is the planned construction of the highway financed by the U.S. Millennium Challenge account to more effectively link the region with the rest of Georgia. Also, a railroad is planned to run from Kars, Turkey to Baku, Azerbaijan via the area see, Kars -Baku -Tbilisi railway line, but the Armenian population of Javakheti are opposed to this rail link because it excludes and isolates Armenia. There is already another railroad linking Armenia, Georgia and Turkey, which is the kars gumri akalkalaki railroad line. The existing line is in working condition and could be operational within weeks, but due to the Turkish blockade of Armenia since 1993, the railroad is not operational. See also Armenians in Georgia Armenians in Samsk Javakheti